Okay. Uh, so we've been talking about a lot of issues, and I'm going to bring up some major issues that the um, opposition was discussing that um, that, uh, that hasn't been uh, that has either been addressed correctly or has not been understood. Um, the first thing that that uh, if you remember to, to earlier earlier, the opposition was stating that the problem is small. The problem is not actually small. They said that only 12 percent of students are affected. Well, uh, only 12, it's only 12 percent of the student population. 12 percent of 75 million is still 10 million students. Okay, that's a lot of people. That's um, I can't. That's like more people than um, exist on this campus. So it is a big issue, and it's not something that that should just be um, uh, dealt with granular, granularly. Okay, and then. Um, they kept bringing up this uh, thing about selection, force versus non-force, uh, like uh, this use all kids, not use all kids, or whatever. That's irrelevant since it's actually addressed uh, during. Uh, it's actually addressed with the gradient issue that we discussed in our definition of institution. Also absorbed into uh, this definition of gradient uh, is uh, the issues of cost and warehousing. We said the institution does not have to be a physical building. It's on a case by case basis. It could be the same thing as a program such as a small learning community and stuff like that you have that degree of uh, gradient, so it doesn't have to be strictly a physical building. We stated that at the beginning, so that's, that's, those are non-issues. Um, all the solutions they propose, uh, they sound like good solutions, right? But there's a reason they're not being currently implemented, and that gets back to the UN uh, study, the cost issue. It's a cost issue, and that's why they're not doing it. So um, that's why that's not an issue. Well, that's why um, that doesn't work in their system. It's not something you can resolve like that. Um, they did bring up a, a, a good a good um, a good point about uh, about student interaction, and that goes back to our point that we brought up earlier about cognitive uh, mature mature development when it comes to social skills. Um, and they were talking about like tolerance and just inclusion and interaction. Okay, so the problem with that is that, that that's a sink or swim uh, method, right? How are you going to teach someone? Uh, uh, Tosh just by throwing them in there, that's not going to work. That's like if I'm trying to teach you swimming by throwing you into the ocean, you're going to drown. You've never swum before. Or you get lucky and you swim. And that's kind of the results that we've been seeing. And so we need to really focus and sort of uh, teach, uh, teach these kids th this issue and that's going to be addressed by this because then we have, uh, we have the focus and then that the special education is still brought up as part of the curricula. So they talk about it at one point or another, whether you're not you're in, in, in you're, whether or not you're uh, part in part of inclusion. Because um, I remember, I think my I, I was taught that for sure, and then my sister was taught that for sure, and then a lot of people that I talked to they were taught that regardless of whether or not they're part of mainstream. So that's that's an issue that gets brought up anyway. So um, the the way that they're addressing it with um, like full on interaction, um, that's not um, that's not uh, a correct way to deal with that at that um, early stage of cognitive. Uh, social skill, mature, mature development, they're not fully, um, they haven't been developed, so of course they're going to be immature. Um, um, and then finally, a lot of their focus was really focused on um, the just the needs of the, the special students. So like, oh, they are met, that they're met like this, or met like that. We're not talking about just them, we're talking about all the students. And then um, we've also addressed some issues, uh, there's a couple issues that, that you're probably going to be saying that we're talking about that they didn't address. Um, and then, uh, so, so really, there, there still is an, there still is an issue. It's still a big problem. Uh, a lot of the stuff that they're bringing up gets solved by our gradient, and then um, the interaction can't be dealt with in the way that they're describing because of uh, the, basically the immaturity of a child. So you just can't do it yet. So that's the thing. You need to teach them when they're young, and then they can interact with them when they get older, uh, like we are. So that's not that's not an issue. And I think that covers a good chunk of what they were talking about.